Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where we master math one video at a time. Today, my lesson is about the exponent zero and why anything raised to an exponent of zero is one, and it's all gonna be proof in the pattern. So here we go, zero exponents. Any non-zero base with an exponent of zero is equal to one. Very important that we consider non-zero. This is a to the zero is our power and it is equal to one. So any base of a except zero, so any value except zero is equal to one when raised with to an exponent of one. So base of zero, any power with a base of zero is undefined. So zero to the zero is undefined. Let's understand why this works and why it is. We're gonna use a pattern using the same base. So I start with two. Two to the first is equal to two. Then we could do two squared, two times two, four. Two cubed is eight. Two to the fourth is 16. So let's look at the pattern that exists here. As each exponent increases by one, we can see our pattern. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So if we consider that as we added an exponent, we added a factor of two. So we multiply by one more two because we're adding one more two. Now, if we work backwards, and we're going backwards and we take away an exponent, we're really dividing by two. 16 divided by two is eight. Take away another exponent, divide by two. Eight divided by two is four. Take away another exponent and divide by two. Four divided by two is two. So now if I take away another exponent, I'm going to get two to the zero. And when I divide two by two, I get one. So there's the proof that two, the power two to the zero is equal to one. This will work with any numerical value except zero. So three to the zero would also be one and it would work out the same way with the same pattern. Now let's understand why zero cannot be a power of zero without it being undefined. So zero, to an exponent of one is itself. Anything to an exponent of one is itself. If I multiply zero, it's just zero, right? If I increased and went up and said zero squared, that's zero times zero. Zero cubed, zero times zero times zero. So I don't need to show you that pattern. Zero to any exponent, one or greater, is going to be zero. But if we consider what we just did in the previous with two, and I go backwards and I start dividing, if I'm going to divide here, I'm dividing by zero. Well, anything divided by zero is undefined. Zero to the zero is undefined, which makes sense because if you have nothing, how can you raise it to nothing, right? So in our pattern, that's what it is. Now it's your turn. I would like you to evaluate each of these powers. Go ahead and pause the video now and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Nine to the zero, I hope you got one. Negative three fifths to the zero. Again, I hope you got one. And that's it. That's what I have for you today. And the proofs are then the pattern. And that is why any non zero base with an exponent of zero is equal to one. I thank you for joining me today. And I hope you'll come back soon to see the next video about exponents that are negative. Thanks for joining me at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.